let a praise be continued be in your mouth. Thank you. We got too sophisticated. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise him. Try to find my Spirit unto all 
And it, it is in the same sense Speak, Lord. that when Jesus showed his commitment in the cross, God is asking us Jesus. to lay down our lives Hallelujah. just like Amen. he laid down his life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead. God is saying, I need commitment. Amen. You see, the reason. We don't see healing. Jesus. We don't see prayers. We don't see people being the blind seeing and the lame walk. Jesus. Because the church is not committed. Because you cannot get power uh, without prayer. Amen. Or Hallelujah. In Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. The Amen. church stopped praying to God. Oh, yeah. The church starts seeking his Jesus. presence. Because without his presence, well, there is no power to heal. Amen. Without to deliver men. Go ahead. If Satan have done a trick upon the church, Jesus. where the church is seeking more prosperity Jesus. than seeking God's presence. Help us, Lord. Where we are mistaking prosperity as God being with you, then if God is, 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 is seen in prosperity, why are those guys like Sean P. D. D. Combs and Jay-Z who don't serve God, Jesus. why they got money? Satan have made the church to be comfortable in where they are. Satan have told the church that it is not important to get up in the morning to praise and to seek his faith. And guess what? When we are praying, we're no longer praying for power. We're praying for things. Go ahead. Go ahead. Teach. Yeah. Teach. We pray for more stuff. Jesus. We pray for this and that, but not the power of the Spirit of God to be Amen. in us so we can help somebody else. Amen. And we ask him for more power so people can know who you are instead of knowing who Jesus is. Help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's talk about it. Go ahead. We are one in power not to heal mankind, Jesus. not to bring demons out, Jesus. but to make more disciples of Satan. Help us, Lord. You want people to call out your name. You want Amen. the anointing so people can give you engagement of preaching and Jesus. teaching and saying instead of wanting the power of God to come in Amen. to deliver mankind. Help us, Lord. Look at chapter my God. Luke chapter 9. Amen. Amen. Not going to be too long today before you. Not going to be too long. Because guess what? You don't have to be, to, 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 to be long, to be strong. Well, Amen. Luke chapter 9. Teach men to go. Hallelujah. Go look at verse 23. Listen, Jesus. To 27. Amen. When you have it, let's say amen. 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 He said to all of them, those who want to come with me <laughs> must say no to the things they want. Jesus. Can I say it again? Hallelujah. Those who wants to come with me Amen. must say no to the things they want. Amen. What is it talking about? You got to make it your mind because the thing about it, Satan has put so many other things on the way that you can seek. So many things, so many excuses to seek God, to desire God, to want God. When it's time to pray, I'm tired. When it's time to seek God's presence, I can't come to, to, to my, my God to be in the atmosphere of the Word. The Christian have come into a place of making excuses, but Jesus said that if you want me, you must deny yourself. Amen. You must deny your desire, your purpose, your want. You cannot find me until you hook huh. up your cross. Deny yourself. So this walk is a walk of denial. There are some things I want. Amen. But I can't have it if it's going to be in the way of Christ. Jesus. Oh, God have mercy. Okay. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There are some relationships that, that, that you, it's not that it's bad, but it's on the way of Christ. So guess what? I've got to deny myself. There are some friends I've got to walk away from because they're not walking in the will. So I've got to deny myself Jesus. from some things so I can help God. Because what is God saying? If you want what I want, 
if you want my power to be over your life, there's going to be a commitment to me like you have never committed before. Amen. Okay, you think I'm joking. It says this, to whom much is given, well, much is required. You're not going to get God's power and thinking you're going to play with it like a kid with a gun because this is the power of God that's on you. Amen. And the power of God, he got to know that he owns you. Amen. He got to know that you belong to him because guess what? When he tells you to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to pray, you got to get up to pray. When he tells you to get up at 5, you got to get up at 5 to pray. When he tells you to go this one and say this, you got to do it because he said, you are what? The problem of the believer is this. They think they belong to themselves. They think that you still thinking yeah. that you belong to you. Amen. You don't belong to you. You don't belong to your wife. You don't belong to your husband. You don't belong to your children. Jesus. Who you belong to, you belong to Jesus. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. Because the thing about it, most believers trying to make time for Jesus. You don't make time for him. Jesus. All your time is his. Oh, oh yeah. Amen. Nobody understand it. Amen. Uh, Amen. If there's any choice to be made, he comes first. Amen. And that is the problem with us. And we ask him, God, do this for me. Jesus. Do this for me. But guess what? The problem is, is Jesus first in right. your life? That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. You can say, God, heal me. But am I first? your life Amen. or do you have to decide between me and somebody else or something else or what you like or I like this show today I can't come get the word because I love this show I can't make it because the bus right and this and that right and this is going on all the excuses that we make Amen. Amen. Jesus said if you want me well uh -huh. he said if you want me Amen. oh yeah Oh yeah, if you want me, guess what you're gonna have to do? Thank you. You must say no to the things they want. Jesus. Pick up <laughs> their crosses every day. Not one time. Amen. You see the thing about it, you thought that you pick up your cross when you first got saved. Jesus. But the picking up of the cross is an everyday process that you got to pick up your cross. Amen. Every day you Amen. get up, you got to pick up your crosses. Every day to do what? But anything that comes on the way of God, deny yourself from anything that keeps you from the things of God. Amen. Oh, don't think that the devil that you mess with is not tricky. Go get it. He could get you caught up. Look at this. The only thing the devil is waiting for, for the summertime to come, Good. for a lot of people to leave the church. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Soon as it get hot, you can come to church. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think Jesus, he said, you know what? It's a nice day today. I can't get up on that cross. It's too hot. It's too warm. But he, my God, but he was committed for your salvation. Amen. Are you committed to him? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened to the watch night of the church? Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened when the church used to lay down on the floor all night long Amen. until Jesus showed up? What happened to those days when we say we're not getting up to the power of Jesus rise up in the place? What happened? What happened to your fire? Jesus. Amen. Go ahead. What happened to Amen. What happened to your fire? What happened to the things? That's why Paul talked to the church of Galatia and he said, who has bewitched you? You started well. Jesus. What happened to you? Tell the truth. Who stole your joy well, for God. You see, because you've been told a lie to religion that, that, that serving Christ is not picking up a cross. You need to understand the cross that Jesus picked up was a heavy cross Go that he picked up. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Go ahead. He, he hundreds of pounds and he got under this cross. He carried the cross to Calvary all the way to Golgotha. He said, you Oh, yeah. 
And guess what it says? Preach past. Every day. Go ahead. Every day. Go ahead. You got to deny Satan. Amen. Every day. You got to tell Satan no. Because guess what it is? Go ahead. It is a blocker Amen. to the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It is a blocker Amen. to the things I want. If it's the computer, go it out the window. Amen. Pick up your cross. Hallelujah. If it's a print, go it out the window. Amen. And pick up your cross. Hallelujah. If it's a habit, no, 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 no. go it out the window. Lord. And pick up your cross. Amen. Amen. Okay. You go ahead. Yeah, you'll never heard this type of message is because guess what? You've been taught that. We 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 have become friends with Mammon. Jesus. Jesus. We have become friends with those things that God has denied. We have become comfortable. <laughs> and some of you say, Well, Pastor, I gotta eat, I gotta have a job. Well, guess what? That's why you still broke and poor and down and disgusted. According to Matthew 6, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things shall be added on to you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear the gospel or you make excuses for serving him. You make excuses for giving his word. Hallelujah! Because you won't pick up his cross. You won't pick up his cross and follow him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Your job can send you to hell. Amen. Yeah. Because the devil, guess what happened? <laughs> To the children of Israel, he said, "Guess what? Go ahead. You are too idle. Give them more straw." You might have, he said, "Take away the straw from them, because mm -hmm. you're idle." Jesus. And the devil began to give the children of Israel too much work to do. Jesus. The devil began to add unto their, my God, to their faith. Guess what happened? The devil will give you more work that you forget about God and you forget about the things of God. And you, forget, he gets you all busy. He gets Jesus. you all caught up with your life. He gets you all caught up with people. Tell the truth. I was talking to my daughter. Right. And she was saying to me, oh, my boyfriend is like, I said, forget about him. Amen. Forget about him. Don't put your concentration on him. Who Jesus. is he? Amen. Put your mind on God. You can let a man take you away from the things that God has for you. Don't let no man in how he treats you and how he pick up your cross. Amen. That's what I told her. Begin to look up to Jesus, who's the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. Amen. Don't be distracted in the season. Jesus. Don't be caught up in the season. Jesus. Oh, God, have mercy. And look what he says. Mm -hmm. Teach it. Those who want mm -hmm. to save their lives mm -hmm. will lose their mm -hmm. glory. Oh, yeah. You said it. You try to keep that relationship, you lose it. Oh, okay. yeah. Try to see you try to keep things without God. You lose it. Amen. Amen. You try to save your life. What is life is pure. Or whatever it is, whatever you try to keep on your own. God can't keep for you. Jesus. Oh yeah. Can I tell you something? Talk about it. He said, I've come. Amen. To put a sword Jesus. in your home. He said. Mother niggas. Father. Yeah. Son. Amen. Jesus. Focus. Father. Amen. Mother and Lord against daughter of the Lord. He said, our house will be divided. Oh. Some will be here. Why is it? He said. Because some people are going to want to live, pick up their cross for God, and other people is not going to want to. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at your homes. That's fine. You decide to pick up your cross, but your people in your house don't want to pick up their cross. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, he said, that's why if you try to save your life, if you try to save it, you're going to lose it. Go ahead. Sometimes you got to let it go. So God is saving. That's why he said, let go and let God. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let go and let God. Go ahead. You try to save it, the more you try to put your hands on it, the more you say, I know how to do it, the more you try to use your wisdom, the 